Hello everybody! My name is Tommy. I'm a mask and puppet maker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the rarest Pokemon of them all. Mew. A Mewionette puppet. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to cover some safety. Knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy, so please get an adult to help you. Always cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And that includes your fingers. When using hot glue, always wear gloves to protect yourself from burns. Never touch the tip, so please be very careful with this. And I highly recommend adult supervision. Alright, let's start. Okay everybody. Let's make ourselves a Mew. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making the head. So crumble newspaper into the shape of a ball, almost kind of like a football. And you should have something that looks like this, so almost kind of like an egg. So now we're just gonna make the muzzle, and now we need to make the ears. So I'm going to start by making the ears first. So you need to crumble newspaper into the shape of a round triangle. Kind of looks like a candy corn. This is way too big so I'm going to trim it. So it should look like that. I can trim if, if yeah, this will this will work. So for that, I'm actually going to use hot glue for it. But right now, I am going to make myself another one first. So I'm going to just kind of put some pressure on uh, the top sides of the head so that we can get the ears on. It'll look a lot more natural. So yeah, this looks good. So I'm going to glue these on. Now oh, just remember the warning, wear your gloves. And you should have something that looks like this. So this will be shaped a little bit later. Now we're going to make the muzzle. So we're just going to take a little bit of newspaper and we're just going to scrunch it into a, a small flat ball like this. Going to be glued right there. Just make sure it's right in re between the ears and right down here. And the mouth is going to be just right underneath. Now we're going to make the body next. Make the body crumble newspaper into the shape of an egg. And there's the body. So it looks actually a lot more like a, an eggplant, I guess. So this is going to be the body. Yep, that looks about right. So the body is made. Mew has very short stubby arms. So I'm just going to crumble newspaper into the shape. So I'm going to crumble two newspaper carrots. So this is going to be one arm, okay, uh, I might, might want to curve that just a little bit but we worry about that later. So I'm going to make myself another one and these will be the arms. And there we go, we now have the arms. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the feet. And there's one foot. So it should look kind of like a slug and just make sure the bottom is nice and flat because this is where the paws will be on. But yeah, anyway, that's about right. So now I'm going to make myself another one and we'll have the feet. Alright, so now Mew has some feet. The tail is going to be put on last. We will be using pink pipe 
cleaner to make the tail. Now we want to make some legs onto the bottom here so that it looks more natural with the feet. So let's do that right now. Now scrunch a newspaper ball and we're going to put it onto the, the side like this. So I'm going to actually glue it on. So we're going to put a newspaper ball on each side of the body at the bottom here. This uh, short end is going to be the neck. Okay, so you should have two of these. So just to better explain this, I just crumbled a newspaper ball and I made them flat. So then you'll need two of them. Okay, so now it is time to start adding paper mache. So I'm going to show you how to make the glue solution. You will need white glue and you're going to need some water. You'll also need a container and a large paintbrush whatever size works for you. You need to mix one part water and one part white glue. So what I mean by that is if you're going to use one cup of water, you will add one cup of white glue. Two cups of water, two cups of white glue. That's what one part water and one part glue means. So I'm going to do that right now. So I got this little measuring cup here. So we're going to start off by adding one part water. So we're going to pour that into the container. And now we need to add one cup of white glue. I'm going to do that. Now you're going to mix your solution. You're going to keep mixing it until it is one smooth solution. Okay. So that should be good enough. So now we have our mixture. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use this glue. Okay, now it's time to start putting on the paper mache. You're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to brush on the surface area. And then you're going to take some tissue paper. You can use toilet paper like I am because it's very cheap and works really good. So you're going to put on the tissue like that and you're going to brush the glue on top of it. Make sure that the tissue is soaked up with the glue. And you're going to put on another layer on top of it. And then you brush even more glue on top. You're going to keep doing this until you have at least three or four layers. All right. Let's start. Take the bottoms of the feet here and we're going to trace around the cardboard. We're going to cut it out so it's nice and flat. Then we're just going to add a little circle here. And then after that, we're going to detail the feet so that they look more like paws. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out and we'll have a cardboard bottom for the foot. And I'm going to trace around it and I'm going to cut myself another one. Now we're going to glue these at the bottom here. Okay, so now I'm going to cut two cardboard ovals and they're going to be glued in the in the middle here to make it look more like a paw. Okay, so it kind of looks like an egg and it's going to be glued right here. Ah, uh, might be, I might need to make it a little smaller. And it's going to be glued right here. So I'm going to cut myself another one. Okay, so I just cut out two cardboard ovals. They should look like eggs. And they're going to be glued at the center here. So they look like paws. Okay. Now I'm just going to smooth these down a little bit.
Now I'm gonna make some ridges, some cuts in here so that it looks more uh, like a paw. So kind of like that. I'm gonna just smooth this out. It's not perfect, but yeah, I'll uh, fix that. You're gonna do the exact same thing to the other foot. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fingers. This is going to be quite easy. So all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of glue and brush it on the tip here. Use the narrow end. Keep the wide end. This will be the uh, where the arm will be attached to the body. Just brush some glue. And scrunch some tissue paper. Like that. I'm going to put one right there. And there you go. Just cover that in paper mache and you'll have the fingers. And there you go. Do the exact same thing to the other one. And there you go. Isn't that cute? And now for the head, we're going to have to cut the mouth out. So the mouth is just right underneath here. So we're going to draw a smile. Draw a really cute smile. And then cut this out. Okay, so now you got the smile cut out. And I'm just going to put some paper mache in it just so that we can paint the, so we can paint it. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. So I just drew a U shape and just put a line underneath it. This is the shape of Mew's eyes. So I'm going to cut myself another one. Yep, that looks good. Great. We have the eyes, so this is, so you should have two of these. They're very easy to cut out, so they're, they're kind of like half ovals, or half eggs. You put them all together, it kind of looks like an egg, or half an oval. Okay, so that's what you need. And now I'm just going to add some depth to the eyes. So, take the, so brush some glue on top of the cardboard, and we're just going to scrunch some tissue paper on top. We're going to cover it. And it should look like this. You can, can you see how it has some depth now? It's not flat. Do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so Mew is just about ready to be assembled. So you should have the feet, and these are the legs. And here's the head. You should also have two eyes. And of course, the hands, or the paws, whatever you want to call it. And to make the tail, we will be using pink pipe cleaner. So you'll need some of this. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to glue the eyes on. and they are going to be glued on like this. Okay, so I'm going to use hot glue. And so I just glued the eyes on like this, and then after that I'm going to put some paper mache around it just so it looks natural. And there you go. You should have something that looks like that. Okay. 
Now we're going to make the tail next. So actually, we're going to need to crumble some newspaper. We're going to make the bob of the tail because you've got a kind of a, has a fancy tip. So we're going to just crumble just a little bit of newspaper. So it should look like this. I'm going to cover it in newspaper and then we're going to add some pipe cleaner to the end of this. So I'm going to add some paper mache I meant. So let's do that right now. All right everybody, it's time to start painting and the only colors we're going to need are pink. I'm going to use a light pink color and we're going to need blue for the eyes and we are also going to need just a little bit of brown for the bottom of the feet. And just a little bit of white for the eyes. But mostly just pink. You want to make a shiny view or whatever color you want, that's entirely up to you. Alright, let's begin. So I added a little bit of detail to Mew's head. Kind of a cute little guy, isn't he? So I'm going to show you how to assemble this marionette. This tutorial is coming right up and after that we will start putting this thing together. Alright? So here we go. So now it is time to assemble the puppet. So you'll need some scissors. You will need some chain. If you don't have chain, I'm going to show you how to do it with pipe cleaner. You can use twist ties or wire. You can even use paper, but chain will last a lot longer. You will definitely need some gloves because we're going to be using some hot glue. Just remember, hot glue is, well, of course, it's hot. <laughs> so glue guns are very hot. Never touch the tip, always wear gloves. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate on these two pieces here on how we're going to assemble the puppet. So take a pair of scissors. Be very careful, just put your hand on top of here and poke the center with the scissors and you will have a hole. Do the same thing to the other piece. And there you go. So this is what we're going to be attaching. So I'm going to show you what to do with pipe cleaner. So you're going to need to cut some pipe cleaner like this. Take the pipe cleaner and you're going to make a loop. Just like that. Should look kind of like a fish without a tail. Now thread the pipe cleaner through the loop and make another loop. And voila! You now have yourself a link. Kind of like a chain. So now what you will need to do is you will need to put this end through the hole and the other hole goes through the other link that you made. And once it's glued, just like that. If you're going to be using chain, you will need safety glasses. Always, when you are cutting chain, you have to wear safety glasses. I cannot stress that enough. And there, that's what you should have when you cut the chain. I'm going to put the chain link into there. And then, and then you put the other chain link into there. Then once it's glued, that's what you should have. So that's what we're going to be doing and that's how I'm going to assemble this puppet. Alright, so I'm going to begin assembly right now.
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make the tail and attach this piece here. So Mew has a very long tail. So we're going to actually be wrapping these all together so that it's durable. So I'm going to make a hole at this end here. Just be very careful because scissors are very pointy. So you, you, you definitely want to get an adult to do this for you. Okay, now I'm going to put some hot glue in. Now we need to attach the tail. We're going to attach it right here. So what you do is you take this wire that you installed and you just wrap one pipe cleaner at a time around it and just make sure that the wire is completely covered. Then you take the other one and you wrap that around. I'm using five pipe cleaners and we're actually going to be we're going to be making a long tail. So I've got this end here and I've got some more right there. So we're just going to keep doing this and we're going to have to be attaching all three pieces so that Mew has a nice long tail. Okay, so the next thing you will need, you will need some paint mixing sticks. You'll need three of them. Um, what I did is I just glued this one on top of here into the shape of a cross. And you also need to drill some holes. So one on each end here, one in the middle, and one at this end. This is going to actually be for the tail. And on the other piece, drill another hole on one end here and on the other. So this one here is going to be for the arms and this one is going to be for the legs. So we're going to be gluing these two together like that. Okay so that's what we need to do. So I'm going to do that right now. And then you should have something like this, so it's gonna... So now what you need to do, once this dries, you're gonna take a short piece of string, and we're going to thread it through, like this. And then, you're gonna tie a knot, I actually just put some uh, hot glue on here just so that this does not slide out. But you can just tie a knot up on there, that'll work just fine. And this, what we're going to do here is we're going to put one piece of string through here. We're going to take a longer string and we're going to put the other end through this hole. And uh, just like that. And then you can just pull on here and that will actually raise the arm. So you can just pull one end or pull the other depending which arm you want to move. So that I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to do the same thing to this end if I, so that we can move the legs. So I'm going to do that but because the legs are a little bit lower than the arms we'll need to cut a longer piece of string. So I'm going to measure that out and I'm going to cut it. Okay, so when you're using string, you may sometimes notice that the string will split like this and that can be hard to work with. So get an adult to do this for you. Kids, don't do this. Get an adult to do this for you because fire can be very dangerous, okay? All you need to do is just burn the end off. And you won't have to worry about the string splitting like that. Doesn't matter what you do, it always stays in one piece. So be very careful when you're doing this because this is very flammable, 
please, please, please do not burn down your house. Period. All right, so let's get working. Okay, so this middle string here is going to be glued on top of the head. So you're going to make a hole and then we're going to glue it. So I'm going to use a drill, okay? Just remember your safety glasses and earplugs if it's really loud. You can use scissors if you don't have it, but however, please be careful when you're using scissors. They are very sharp. Okay, so now I'm going to make a hole just right here so that we can animate the arms. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and for the legs, we're going to need a much longer piece of string, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to thread through each hole. And there you go. And if you want to control the legs, just pull one end or the other, or pull them both, and you will lift this legs up. Alright? And we're going to be gluing these strings to the tips of the feet, right here, right there. Alright, so I'm going to do that right now. And lastly, we're going to add a string to the tip of this tail here. So I'm going to make a hole at the end here, and we're going to put it at the very bottom of the cross. Okay? We're going to be putting it right through here, at the very back. So we're going to thread that through, and actually, so I'm going to grab a key ring, just any kind of key ring, and I'm going to tie, I'm going to, have, I'm going to tie it onto here, like that. So I'm actually not going to make it right on the tip here, I'm just going to just put it just right at the end here of the tail. And there I go. Mew is all finished. Okay, so now I will show you how to use this marionette. So, the bottom cross controls the hand, so simply pull on the string to make the arms move. Pull one side to make one arm move, and the other to make the other. So you can make Mew wave at you. Now, pull the top string to make the feet move. One string on one side makes one leg move and the other. Or you can pull both of it to make Mew, both of Mew's feet move. To make Mew float on his back, pull the string all the way until Mew is floating on his back. To make the tail move, or to raise the tail, just pull the back, like that. I added the key ring to make it easier. Here. And of course, this middle string is actually keeping the head balanced. If you want to make you levitate, just pull on this and he'll look like he's actually levitating and that's all there is to it what I like best about this marionette the way the strings are set up this is very hard to get tangled it usually stays in nice order without getting tangled and there you have it you now know how to make Mew a marionette Mew or Mewionette. Yeah, that's funny. So anyway, <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.